In the case of the mishandled 911 call in Dallas that ended in murder, a Dallas County jury sentenced Del Vecchio Patrick to 85 years in prison for the murder of his ex-wife, Deanna Cook. Fox 4 Sean Rabb followed the trial and today's sentencing. There was no reaction from Del Vecchio Patrick to the sentence of 85 years in prison for the murder of Deanna Cook. Jurors deliberating two hours before deciding the punishment. Before jurors handed down punishment, they heard from a detention officer who testified Patrick threatened to kill him. And Cook's 10th grade daughter stared at Patrick before asking jurors to make the right decision. Please just open your minds and open your eyes and to see that he took a mother away from two children in a big family, so we don't have that anymore. This tattoo, a big focus of testimony. Prosecutors say he got the tat in jail and that it depicts Deanna crying surrounded by fire. Yes, Defense attorneys true. argued it was a tattoo of a rapper named the Lady of Rage and that he'd had it for years. Patrick's mother asked the jury to have mercy. And I wish you would have mercy and lenience on my son Del Vecchio Patrick. We, the jury, having found the defendant Del Vecchio Patrick, guilty of murder as charged in the indictment. After the verdict, Deanna Cook's oldest daughter spoke. As she did, Del Vecchio Patrick mouthed the curse word at her, and she responded. But either way it go, I'm going to make it regardless. <laughs> you too. <laughs> what you mean? Let's see. I mean, it ain't like you got 85 years. <laughs> as they spilled out of court, Cook's family placed tape over their mouths, symbolizing Deanna's voice being silenced, though she did speak in death. The 911 call sealing Del Vecchio Patrick's fate. I'm satisfied with that. Long as he can stay in there as long as possible. I just don't need this to happen to anyone else. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.